Hi there, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru. Great to have you on Referral TV, the number one TV show showing you how to get more referrals, how to use your networks better, how to grow your networks, and how to create more opportunities for the people you already have around you. Got an exciting topic today, and it's something I suppose I'm pretty passionate about because I see people doing it the hard way, time in, time out. And it's actually something that took place this morning. So here I was this morning, I was on one of our um, social media groups from um, uh, the big, big Thinking Online. I'll give it a bit of a plug so people can go and join that group because I think it's a great group with a great community in there. So there's a person in there who wrote, um, I've just got my ebook written, how do I get it out there? So I'm going back and I've looked at some of the comments of what people are suggesting and the typical comments of um, share it on Facebook and share it on your LinkedIn and use Facebook ads. And so all the typical things. I just go, gee, that's a hard way. And it could be a pretty expensive way too. So here I am and I go, well, let me share some insights and I'll share exactly the same insights here with you today. When you have got great content, it is about distributing that through collaboration. You need distribution channels. You need people to collaborate with who can share that out to your networks. Because if you just continue to share it to your networks, well, eventually after the third, fourth, fifth time, that's it. You're done. No one else is looking at it anymore. So you have to get it in front of new eyeballs. Now, yeah, you can pay to get it in front of new eyeballs. Okay? And if you can get it down to, to sort of 5, 10, 15 cents a click, then it might be worth putting it out there on social media advertising. But imagine if you were actually able to collaborate with 20, 30 people who could all share it to their networks of 100, 200, 300 people. You would now have that in front of 10, 15, 20,000 people straight away. Hasn't cost you a cent. Isn't that far more effective? Now, for most people, they don't bother doing that for two reasons. A, it's easier just to set up a Facebook app, takes you five minutes, and you're done. So I call that laziness. Okay, you've got to get over the laziness and you've got to get back in there and you've got to hustle and create opportunities day in, day out. If you're not willing to hustle, no one's going to be willing to share your stuff. So I would prefer to spend three, four hours a day hustling, being able to actually get people to share stuff for me rather than pay $100 a day for maybe getting the right sorts of people and the right sorts of clicks. You have far better conversions when people um, have edified you, you go on the back of their credibility, when they share you into their networks, you're going to get far better conversions than someone who doesn't know you, doesn't like you, doesn't trust you, clicking on an ad, which they might might not have wanted to actually see in the first place. The other reason why people we don't do this is we've got to get over ourselves, our own ego. Yet some people are going to say no to you, and that's absolutely fine. You've got to just keep putting yourself out there and you've got to keep being visible and you've got to keep asking. Because if you don't keep asking, then eventually you're going to be left with nobody. So they're the two reasons we tend not to do this. And we're in control of both of those reasons. Okay, It's not as if there's something there that we're not in control of that we can't then do. So if you've got right now something that you need to share, whether it be a video, a webinar, an ebook, a podcast, whatever it happens to be, what you've got to do is you've got to find people to share it for you. You've got to find collaboration partners. You've got to be able to do cross promotions where people are happy to share things into their network because it adds great value to their communities, to their networks. So how do you then go about doing that? Well, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to find people who have the same target audience that you do that are selling to the same sorts of people that you are. And you've got to make a list of those people. Now, you might find those people on iTunes, on Amazon, on Blog Talk Radio, on Blogger Directory sites, just by Googling, on social media groups. That'll keep you busy for the next year, just looking on those sites alone. Once you find people with the same target audience, it's pretty simple. Send them a message. See if they're open to talking about some sort of collaboration. Don't do what someone just did to me overnight on LinkedIn out of the US, where we connected, because I think we've got a great opportunity to be able to collaborate with one another. And all they do is they, re they return back with a message 
with a big sales spiel of who they are and what they can do for me. Not interested. You've just shot yourself in the foot to being able to get into our whole community because that's the way you responded. Wrong mindset, wrong way of doing it straight away, not interested. So send their message, not um, being a big happy Labrador jumping all over people, send them a nice message of, here's my thought, I'd love to be able to chat if you're open to being able to collaborate with us. Not everyone's going to reply. Not everyone's going to say yes. It's purely about doing as many as you can a day, knowing that 20, 30, 40% of people will come back to you. So if you're going and you're watching this right now going, I've got this great ebook, I've got this great video, I've got this great information, but no one's looking at it, it's because you're not doing cross promotions. It's because you're not asking enough people day in, day out, how can you collaborate? And to start with, you're going to go straight back to your network. You've got this amazing network around you that you've been creating for months, years, decades for some people. Why aren't you talking back to your network? I'm sure you've got people in your network right now who have the ability to be able to collaborate with you, to be able to help you. If you're only focusing on selling to your network, you're missing out on huge opportunities. There is so much money being left on the table because you're not talking to your network from a partnership point of view. Hopefully that's been really helpful and been real, um, been real useful. If you have a business network, I'd love if you could share this to your network because it's going to do two things. It's going to educate more business owners on how to be able to collaborate. And I think the more people that understand how to collaborate with each other, the better the business world is going to be around the globe. Because then we're not trying to do everything ourselves. We're trying to be able to actually collaborate and help one another, which I think is going to be a huge win for everybody. The second thing is, now your network is going to actually understand the power of collaboration and it's going to give you an opportunity to start collaborating with them because they've heard this message. So if you're a business page on social media, you've got a business group, I'd love for you to be able to share that with them. I'd really appreciate it, not only from the point of view of us being able to spread our message, but hopefully from the point of view that now people actually want to come back and collaborate with you so that you can get your things out there. Till next time, have a great uh, rest of the week. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Referral TV.